Now this is going to be the easiest chocolate cake you're ever going to make and it's perfect for your gluten-free friends because this is my flourless dark chocolate cake. Firstly, get 375 grams of best quality dark chocolate, at least 70% cocoa solids. Whack them on a chopping board. Make sure they're still in the packet though. Straight into a bowl. Now next into this dark chocolate, I'm gonna put 250 grams of butter. Then I'm gonna give it a covering with cling film then just pop it on top of the pan of gently simmering water. You've got to make sure that the bottom of this bowl is not touching the top of the water. I'm just going to leave it there so that the chocolate and the butter just melt together. And whilst that's happening, I'm going to whisk up some eggs and some sugar. Seven whole eggs and one yolk. And then add 375 grams of caster sugar to the eggs. Then I'm just going to whisk it up on my food mixer until it's light and fluffy. My chocolate and butter is melted. I'm going to mix it together. And then I'm going to pour the chocolate and the butter mix into the eggs and the sugar. And that is it. Just mix the ingredients together quite gently. Just don't want to knock too much of the air out. And I'm just going to pour it into a lined cake tin. And it's just been lined with a little bit of baking parchment that's been greased up with a bit of butter. And that is it. That's the easiest cake mix you're ever going to make. It smells beautiful. That dark chocolate is incredible. Now I'm just going to pop it into an oven 140 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. Now once this has been resting for about 10 minutes, I've got myself a little palette knife and I'm just going to push it down, kind of squash it all together and it will kind of blend those cracks in and then make it really soft and gooey. I'm going to leave it for another 10 to 15 minutes or pop it in the fridge. You can even leave it overnight. It's no bother. Okay, so my cake has been rested for quite a while now. Just going to release it from the cake ring and then flip it over. Pull the paper off. And there you go, look. A perfect looking, amazing flat surface cake ready for whatever you want to do to it. Great chocolate on it, whipped cream, served raspberries on it, whatever you fancy. Salted caramel, that cake is incredible. Tell you what, you might just want it on its own. And you can find the full recipe for that, my flourless dark chocolate cake in my book, Tom's Table. <laughs>